For many years, the Republic of Korea has been self-sufficient in virtually all types of land warfare systems. And this year, they've bought the latest version of their Flying Tiger self-propelled air defense system. This entered service with the Republic of Korean Army many years ago and was armed with two 30mm cannon. But since then, the threat is involved and they've done a new version. And this one has got the 30mm cannon, but mounted either side, is a pod of two surface-to-air missiles. It also has got its own tracking radar and a day and night camera system mounted on the roof. So in a typical target engagement, the target will first be detected by the radar and if confirmed as hostile, will be handed over to be engaged. Targets at long range will probably be engaged by the fire and forget surface-to-air missiles, while close-in targets will be engaged by the 30mm cannon. In addition to being used in the air defence role, the 30mm cannon are also highly effective against light armoured vehicles such as armoured personnel carriers. This chassis is also used for a number of other applications, including the Pegasus air defence system, which has a total of four surface-to-air missiles in the ready-to-launch position. As you can see, it's man now manufactured by the Hanwha Corporation, and this is just one of a number of products they are currently in production for the Republic of Korea Army, and also are now marketing on the export market. So far, however, this particular system has not been sold on the export market, but now they've had the added capability of the far infrared get surface-to-air missiles, obviously that will enhance its capability. Um, the, these particular missiles are designed and developed in, in the Republic of Korea and are now in service in the manned portable role, but potentially other missiles could be fitted according to the end user's requirements.